Yesterday, you guys started your percent conclusions by finding how either the total interest that you were, had to pay to the bank or how your monthly payment changed. You did that analysis all based on choosing different loan terms. So hopefully you guys now have a better understanding that if you choose the shorter amount of time to pay back um, your loan, you will pay lower interest to the bank and you will pay less for the car overall. But you will have a higher monthly payment if you choose that shorter amount of time, which you guys should have seen in three and four. When you guys switched from 36 to 60 months, your monthly payment went way down. You should have seen a big decrease, but you should have seen a big increase in the total interest that you pay. So there's a trade-off. If you want a shorter loan term, a shorter amount of time to pay back the car, you will pay less for the car overall, but you're going to pay more per month. Where if you choose the longer amount of time to pay back the loan, you will have a way lower monthly payment, but you're going to pay, depending on your credit score, possibly thousands more for your car. So it's just something to be aware of. Um, yesterday was all about changing the loan terms. This uh, Today, guys, numbers five, six, seven, and eight, you guys are going to look at how the total interest paid in your monthly payment changed just when you went from good credit to bad credit. And if you notice in parentheses, we're only going to look at the 48-month loan term data. So we're only going to look at the numbers that went with that 48-month loans, having four years to pay back that money to the bank. So we're going to go gather our data, two questions at a time, and then we'll turn those into percent conclusions, very similar to uh, numbers one, two, three, and four. So how did your total interest paid change? when your credit score went from good to bad. And we're only gonna look at the 48 months. So make sure if you don't already, back from, this should have been from week two, go find your car buying uh, project where you have this research. And boom, we are just going to be looking at this slide. So the first conclusion, like I said, is how did the total interest paid? How did that change? When we went from good, so we'll go to my 48 month loan term, total interest paid, there's the first number that I'm gonna write down in my notebook. So make sure you guys have your notebook and in your PowerPoint, I would literally pause the video, go find how much interest did you pay in the 48 month loan term with good credit. For me, it was $1,484. Then I'm gonna draw an arrow because when I went to bad credit, still looking at the 48 months, I ended up paying $5,000. $524. You ended up just your credit score literally determines so much of the cost of these big purchases in your life. So we'll go ahead and get the numbers that we need for number six as well. And then we should be good. Oh, and I think I just made a mistake. Oh my goodness. Number five and six are the same. So honestly, guys, just do number five. You don't need to do number six. You can literally delete it. Oh, wow. That's embarrassing for me. And then same thing. You only have to do number seven. You don't have to do number eight. Okay. So number seven, how did your monthly payment change when your credit score went from good to bad? So we'll go to the 48 months. My monthly payment here was 487. I'm going to draw an arrow. And with bad credit, my monthly payment was 571. So make sure that you guys have written down the total interest you paid for both good and bad, and then the monthly payment that you paid for good and bad credit, just looking at the 48 months. So then we can do our percent change math.